please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos Thank hello everyone once again and welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for watching more update videos so now we are going to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam first we are going to draw the shear force diagram Let me draw the line first. So we have 10 kN, which is acting downward. Yeah. Which is 10 kN. And we don't have any forces up to point B. So it goes like that, straight up to point B. Which here is 10 kN as well. And we have 28.25 kN going upward. So what we do now, 28.25 minus 10, which is equal to 18.25. So it goes 18.25 upward. That's 18.25. And we have a UDL here, up to 4 meters. So what we do now, so, sorry, so, 28.25 minus 10 which is 18 point 18.25 kilonewton and then what we do so we have a distance from point B to the to the our point load which is 4 meter so say 1 times 4 28 28 minus 18.25 which is 9.75 up to here and goes like that and goes like that which is 9.75 kilonewton and we have 20 going down again So 9.25 plus 20, which is 29.75 kilonewton. You have a UDL up to 2 meter again. So that's 7 times 2, 14 plus 29.75. So it is equal to 43.75. So it goes like that. which is 43.75 kilonewton and it goes up back to 79.75 so so 79.75 minus 43.75 which is 36 and goes 36 up again so here 36 kilonewton and we have a UDL up to 3 meter so say 1 times 3 is 21 minus 36 is equal minus 15 so it will be and will be here so here 15 kilonewton and we have 15 goes down to make it 0 that's zero. So minus plus minus plus. So this is our shear force diagram. The second step, we are going to draw our bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. So what we do now, before we draw the bending moment diagram, we have to take cut. We have to take cut at point B. We have to take. We have to take cut from here. Which. We don't know the distance yet, and we have to take a cut at point D. So step one, I will take my first cut from point A, from point B, sorry. So I don't have UDL, I have only pine load, which is going downward. It's 10 kilonewton. Yeah. 
is 10 kN and the distance is 2 meter this my I'm calling it m1 so my m1 will be equal m1 plus 10 times 2 equals 0 so m m1 will be equal to minus 20 kilonewton meter this our m1 so how should we find the distance from from point b to here so what we do now so the reaction divided by the udl will give you the distance so the reaction 18.25 divided by udl which we have seven the distance is 2.6 meter this is the distance so the second step will take cut from 2.6 meter so our second cut will be from 2.6 meter so we have a point load which is 28.25 kilonewton and the distance was which, which we found was 2.6 meter distance is 2 meter and we have a UDL which is 7 kilonewton per meter and do we have anything else here let me just check so we have a and we have a fine load going down which is 10 kilonewton so we don't have anything else so now come let's find our second moment I'm calling it as M2 so my M2 so my M2 will be equal to so my M2 plus 10 times the total distance because my moment is here 4.5 plus C1 times 2.6 times 2.6 divided by 2 2.6 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.3 that will be equal to 28.25 times my distance is 2.6 meter so the m2 plus 10 times 4.5 which is equal to 45 plus c1 times 2.6 times 1.3 that will be equal to 23.66 is equal to 28.25 times 2.6 which is equal to 73.45 so our m2 will be equal to 73.45 minus 45 minus 23.66 which is equal to 4.79 kilonewton meter this is our second moment and the third moment will take at point D. This will be our third moment. So I'll draw it here. I'll cut it from here. But I have a UDL. 7 kN per meter. And the distance from point D to point E, which is 3 meter. This will be our M3. Do we have another force? Yes, I have 15 kilonewton. And going downward. Acting downward, so I don't have any forces. So my M3 So my M3 will be equal to so M3 plus 15 times 3 plus C1 times 3 times 1.5 will be equal to 0. So the M3 plus 15 times 3 is 40, 15 times 3 is 45 plus C1 times 3 times 1.5 which is 31.5 is equal to 0. So our M3 will be equal to 31.5 plus 45 so it's equal to minus 76.5 kilonewton meter 
So we have found our three values of our moment. So now we will draw our bending moment diagram. Let me draw the line. This is my bending moment diagram. So my M1, as I found out, which was minus 20 kilonewton meter from point B. So minus 20 kilonewton, which is going upward. I'll put it here. So 20 kilonewton meter. And my second M was, was positive 4.79. Which I have found it was here. Just uh, so my M2 was acting here, so which is a 4.79 kilonewton meter. And my final moment was at point D, which the value was 76.5. Was here, and I'll put it here. So 76.5 kilonewton meter. So now, come let's draw our bending moment diagram. As you can see in our diagram, so from point A to point B, we don't have a UDL. So therefore, when you draw it, so you have to draw it straight because we don't have a UDL up to here. And then we have U deal from point B to point A in the rest. And you have to curve it like that. I'm going to go like that. So this is our bending moment diagram. And thank you guys for supporting me and watching my videos. If you have any question regarding this example, please comment below and then I will reply to you as soon as possible.